Senator Smith. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Honourable Senators, I rise today to pay tribute to one of our own, a colleague who left us much too soon, the Honourable Tobias Nverga, Jr., passed away suddenly on November 16th of this year. Au cours de son passage de cinq ans au Sénat, during his five years in the Senate, of Can in the Canadian Senate, our colleague was an active, engaged, and enthusiastic participant, not only in this chamber but also as a member, as a committee member, who always did his work with good humor and joyfully. In Senator Anvarger was a, uh, was a very friendly and welcoming person towards each and every one of us, and we could, and his loss is keenly felt. Friend, Father Ben Eb Ebkas said of Senator Verga that he lived a life filled with love and filled with a sense of mission, a very king, kind, caring, down-to-earth person, saying Filipinos are eternally grateful that Senator Verga did his best to fill the world with love. Senator Verga was very proud to be the first Filipino-Canadian senator. He used his position as a senator to advocate for our multicultural communities. As a Filipino immigrant, Senator Verga cherished the opportunity that he was given to make a better life for himself and his family in Canada. With that in mind, he worked tirelessly to ensure the same opportunity was afforded to many deserving immigrants who now also call Canada their home. He also used his time as a senator to draw attention to some of the most overlooked people in our society, including caregivers and people with disabilities. Before being named to this place in 2012, upon the recommendation of former Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Stephen Harper, Tobias and Virga was already a trailblazer with a history of public service. In 2008, he founded the Philippine Canadian Charitable Foundation to assist various community charitable needs. In 2010, he became the first Filipino-Canadian elected to public office in the City of Toronto as a trustee of the Toronto Catholic District School Board. He was also the very first visible minority to be elected to this board. For all these reasons and more, the Filipino Canadians all over our country love Senator Jun, as they affectionately called him, but he was especially loved by those in the greater Toronto area, where he made his home. Our thoughts today are with Senator Inverga's family, especially his wife, Rosemere, and their three daughters, Ristel, Rochelle, and Risa, who will miss him more than I could ever adequately express. Tobias and Rosemere were truly a team, devoted to one another. It is my hope that their deep Christian faith will sustain his family in the days ahead. On behalf of all Conservative Senators and all Senators in this House, I extend sincere condolences to Senator Inverga's family, friends and staff. I want them to know that we feel their loss too and will miss him greatly. Thank you.